Hey, what's up? So I thought I'd do something a little different today and go through my top five recommendations for books about artificial intelligence. Whether it's fiction or non-fiction, these are the top five books I think you need to read to understand where the technology is going, where it's coming from, and the ultimate potential awesome future benefits of it. So getting straight into it, my number one tip for anyone who wants to know what's going on in artificial intelligence is to read Nick Bostrom's Super Intelligence. This is a non-fiction book and it is like the de facto standard for understanding the potential for AI risk as well as the potential for AI future. It's a, quite a technical book that goes into concepts like recalcitrance and the rate of improvement of learning of machine systems, but it basically covers um, the ultimate um, benefit of super intelligence in that we can create intelligence much smarter than ourselves that can solve problems and challenges that uh, our current intellect doesn't allow us to do, but also all the potential dangers that lead to developing that kind of advanced um, intelligence. Um, and so he goes to different potential control methods, different runaway um, takeoff scenarios of how AI could develop and it could go south or it could go very well, things we could do um, to uh, augment ourselves to make um, the development of general intelligence and super intelligence go much better in machines and the kind of like, genetic engineering we could do for ourselves or the kind of um, ways we could uh, develop it or the policies that we could put in place to develop it and a lot of the uh, ideas in this book came around before they were popular popularized in the last couple of years with OpenAI and that coming to the fore i think i think it was written in around 2015 somewhere there um, and it's just the de facto standard for understanding AI risk and the potential upside of AI. And so it's my number one pick in this regard. Changing tack here to fiction, my second recommendation for AI books is Accession by Ian Banks. I actually don't have it in physical copy, I've just got it in audiobook copy, but um, these are all you know, Ian Banks' other books in the Culture series. And the Culture series is known for its exploration of advanced technologies and in particular advanced artificial intelligence. Um, the culture of society is kind of run by and basically ruled by these super intelligent artificial intelligences called mines. They control the ships, artificial space habitats, everything. And Accession is all about those ships and all about those um, artificial um, brains and that as they discover this kind of weird um, unknown object in the middle of the uh, galaxy. And it's just basically an, exp an exploration of how super advanced intellects would talk, how they would discuss problems, how they would run a society basically. And it's got the most advanced, cool uh, sci-fi tech that you ever could dream of. And uh, any of Ian Banks' um, sci-fi books in the Culture series actually go on to show just the amazing potential future that advanced technology and benevolent artificial intelligence could provide. Um, unlimited uh, resources, kind of just a beautiful, bountiful hedonism for all the humans living in the galaxy. And yeah, the ship mines and the advanced artificial intelligence uh, that the book presents is just like a real, real window into the cool things that artificial intelligence could provide one day if we get it right. And when people talk about the um, unlimited upside of artificial intelligence, um, the society that the culture people live in in Ian Banks' novel is not far off from like a perfect win-win scenario if we get it completely right. So I can highly recommend it. Um, Accession is all about the machines. That's why it's my top pick for this book. But my favorite Ian Banks book is actually um, uh, Look to Windward because it's also set on an orbital. It's also set in the advanced future, but it's got slightly different themes and it's a, it's a super cool story. But yeah, Accession, number two pick for this list. My third pick for this list of books you need to read in the AI space is Ray Kurzweil's The Singularity is Near. So this book was written a long time ago, right? It was written in 2004. I had only just been born kind of vibe, um, but it was so prescient in that it was talking about all the advanced life extension technologies, the artificial uh, intelligence, the super intelligence takeoff, all the amazing things that AI and robotics might be able to do one day back in 2004, when most people hadn't even really used a computer that much. And so, yeah, it was just a really prescient book. A lot of his predictions have come true in the last couple of years, especially in the last couple of months with um, OpenAI's amazing progress. He's actually releasing a new book called The Singularity is Nearer, hopefully in July. Um, it's been delayed several times before though, so we'll see if it actually comes out then. But this was his original book with his original predictions, just outlining the potential way that we could, similar to Bostrom's book, similar ways we could get to artificial intelligence uh, and artificial general intelligence and then out to artificial super intelligence and just all the things that these technologies will enable and the, um, the problems they could solve, the potential futures of space travel and human longevity it could unlock. Just a really cool out there sci-fi book that near the end, I will admit, gets a bit, um, I don't want to say um, nutty or kind of hard to believe, but it's uh, he's always talking about exponential curves and how progress in technology is exponential. And so 
crazy looking progress looks crazy only because you're not thinking in a uh, log uh, log term but if you're thinking exponentially progress seems stable 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 and then shoots up to the moon and so yeah that's the core tenet of the book is to understand exponential thinking and with ChatGPT and OpenAI's progress recently um, I think a lot of people are starting to wake up to the fact that we might be in for that exponential future. And so if you want to understand it, uh, you could go no worse than starting with Rick Kurzweil's book. The fourth book on my list is actually not a book about artificial intelligence, but rather about semiconductors and transistors. It is uh, Chris Miller's um, Chip War. And it's just such a good explanation of the entire semiconductor um, industry and the semiconductor fabrication process that it's well worth understanding. Since, of course, semiconductors and silicon is the thing that underpins the whole AI revolution and is at the bottom of the technology stack. And so, yeah, just understanding how Taiwan got to its uh, in place of importance in the world at the moment and how East Asia has kind of dominated the um, silicon manufacturing assembly and uh, basically entire... Uh, computer production ecosystem for the last several decades and it's really under, uh, really interesting to see how the, the geopolitics of even the Cold War basically formed the alliances of countries and formed the geopolitical um, situations that caused those countries to now be the most prevalent players in the semiconductor industry and why a small um, Dutch country up in the EU is the only guys that produce the advanced ultraviolet lithography machines that the entire uh, TSMC and semiconductor process relies upon. It's a really fascinating look at um, global geopolitics and global manufacturing and it's really cool to understand how these things got started and how they've led to, to the today's situation and it's just a really good explanation actually of how the system works and how the chips are produced and how the um, the whole ecosystem of the business landscape works for semiconductors and so really worth understanding also if you want to understand why Sam Altman wants seven trillion dollars to onshore local semiconductor manufacturing that's because it's taken so many decades and so many billions, trillions actually, uh, to get the semiconductor industry up and running over in the east. And so to get it up and running in the west, it makes sense why Sam, Tr Sam Altman needs that seven trillion dollars. But yeah, amazing book, really enjoyed it. It's not about AI, but it will help you understand AI and technology in general so much better. And then of course, I couldn't leave it out, but number five on my list is Peter Norvig's um, Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach. This is the um, seminal textbook for understanding artificial intelligence and machine learning in general. It goes through all the basics about agents and about systems and then building all the way up to um, natural language processing, deep learning, reinforcement learning, robotics, computing, probability theory, everything you need to know about machine learning and about the maths underpinning these amazing systems uh, is taught in this textbook. It's actually the textbook that I uh, studied artificial intelligence at at university. Uh, in my artificial intelligence course and it's a textbook that I think a lot of universities around the world recommend because it's not the most modern textbook but it's got all of the mathematical underpinnings and all of the most important um, technologies and concepts that you need to know about explained in a decently understandable format with good examples and good mathematical rigor and it builds upon those all the way through the different chapters to really understand what's going on at the end of the book and so yeah not obviously probably the hardest not the probably the hardest read on this list of books but um, if you want to actually understand how these systems work under the hood and to actually build them yourselves, I mean, this is the de facto standard textbook that everyone uh, recommends. And so you could go no worse than starting with this book. And that's my list. Um, yeah, as you know, I'm so interested in AI and the emerging technologies that are coming out of it. And so it's so interesting to, to read long form books about the topics. A lot of the alpha right now is obviously in watching podcasts and uh, watching interviews and learning from the um, open source work that people working in the industry are putting out there but if you want to understand a lot of the historical um, stuff about artificial intelligence the historical origins and the, the mathematical underpinning and the amazing future where we could be going in uh, five to fifty years time these books on this list are a great jumping off point for that and i uh, hope you enjoy reading them thanks for watching i'll talk to you next time bye